We're gonna go explore this Rainforest Discovery Center. See what we can see. So there's no facilities in here? They don't do a visitor center or any? I think. I think there is, a, I've, in a couple videos, I saw a building and then there's this a tower. Building, but, uh, now it's protected, but also, I mean, the, the wood's not good for any money. And it's, they just call them Panama trees. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they do get uh, oaks and cedars and things like that, pines. They use those for restaurants and hmm. I went to Costa Rica last year with this big trail of ants. Yeah, probably uh, because they do have their own currency, which is Colon. Yeah. But they, they do take the, the... A lot of countries are doing that because it's a lot easier. Oh, I was surprised when we went that they would take a dollar. Although it would be like... You would pay more if you paid with the dollar. Yeah, of course. Than if you paid with your colonics. Uh, that's a gimmick as well. Here is uh, one to one, so it's not, not a problem. Yeah. So you we can say something is expensive, but not like okay, you're charging me more because I'm paying dollars. Yeah. Yeah. We try to say in the colonies as much as we could. But like a river of ants. I was surprised oh. <laughs> that it was even an option to pay the dollar. It is a great option. I mean, if you go to, uh, for the country, I mean, because they make more money. If you go to Dominican, you have been there. Uh -uh. Well, in Dominican, uh, they have many, like, okay, certain pounds, dollar, uh, whatever, euro, whatever, and then they tell you how much it's worth. Oh. And they'll take it. <laughs> they'll take it. They take whatever coins, you know. There's certain coins that they will not take because of work, right? But, uh, and and crazy. Like just flows across the road. So this trail. Yeah. This is the forest. So we just heard a howler monkey. It was pretty loud and kind of scary almost. <clears throat> but, I mean, not really scary, but it had that kind of like a noise that seemed kind of creepy if you were by yourself in a forest but we're about to go through and there's a tower we're going to climb and we're going to see a lake so should be fun where is he oh there he is see that monkey oh. where'd he go oh there he is see that monkey Where? He's walking on that little branch. Oh. He's a little guy. Oh, there's another one straight above us. I think they'll throw their poop at us. <laughs> I think it's because you have food. Oh, maybe. If you can see them in the camera, huh? there's just a whole bunch of monkeys leaping from tree to tree. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, that was only a hundred meters into the walk, so. so we walked in. We walked in from over here up to this, and now we've walked in here. We saw the monkeys around here, and now we're at this center. We're gonna go climb this tower, go out and see the lake view, and then come back. So, here's a little picture of it. So, 
We've been staying down in the city the last couple days. We came up here and this is the Panama Canal, the natural lake. This is the Chagres River that provides all the water to everything for the canal system. And this lake is actually man-made. They created it and then they built the canal here and the canal here. And so they step up three steps and step down two steps to get the ships across with that system of locks. So here's the tower. We're gonna climb up it. Hola. So here's, you can press pause and read that. Can press pause and read that. Yeah. It's not as bad as you think. Grab the sunglasses. Okay. Here we go. I'm not gonna film the whole climb. We're about halfway up now and you start to see the layers of the forest. All these Tarzan vines hanging down. Kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. It's really pretty. Lots of butterflies. I don't know if you can. Lots of birds. You can hear them. We can hear howler monkeys. You can hear the monkeys howling over there still. The howler monkeys. Really is a creepy sound when you're walking through the forest. Ah, it's humid. Yeah. Really it's moist. So, yeah, as we climbed up out of the forest and got up on top above, it just feels like you're swimming in water up here. It's actually a little more cooler and moderate down in there, underneath. In the canopy. So, but it's just like a different world underneath this blanket of leaves up on top. I was hoping we'd see like a sloth at the top of the trees. <laughs> yeah, it's just a sloth. They're hard to find and they like the tip tops of trees usually. All right. Last time I was here. Back down. I get one. Not directly. Back down we go. So very quickly we swung back down underneath the, the upper canopy, that blanket of upper leaves. You can't see down in here, but I mean, it's got so much depth and layers to it. I don't know if the camera's doing all of this justice, but it's really beautiful down through here with all the vines and just tons of bird sounds and insect sounds. and Butterflies down through here, can't really capture them on camera. pretty cool just descending back down into the, the layers of forest all right I'm not sure monkey. those are the howlers though I think those are capuchin monkeys think so yes they look like the little guys on night of the museum that take his keys 
crazy how they can just appear and disappear so quickly. Does your map have pictures of the wildlife? Mm, maybe. I think it does send it to me. It's pretty. Mm. I could get on a kayak and just mm -hmm. kayak through this, these estuaries. Look how big the lily pads are. I don't know if I've ever actually really seen lily pads. There's another monkey. Anyway, these vines are really pretty and how they intertwine and look at this one. The monkey? Yeah, he was like looking down at us. See if he has food. eating something. All right. Look how this vine is caught and then I don't know if they're vines or trees. They're growing out of the ground, I guess. I don't know if they hit the floor and then take root or if they grow up. Looks like they grow down and then hit the floor and take root or fall and it's really pretty. Oh. <laughs> he knocked down a big old log. Good thing that didn't hit us. <laughs> I think these are the army ants I filmed earlier. We keep seeing big trails of those all over the place and huge mounds. You can press pause and read that. Or you can read it in Spanish. Oh, see that blue butterfly? <laughs> I don't know if that showed up on camera, but it's huge. It's big as your hand or bigger. But that's why everything in here is hard to get on film from the monkeys to the, the howler monkey is back in here. And every once in a while he launches those howls and it's keep trying to catch it on film. And it's hard. Finally, right here at the very end. I hope you heard all that. That was one of those howler monkeys. <laughs> and there, it just echoes through the forest and it's like really creepy. Oh, Brandy sees a howler. but closer to us on that big branch is a howler holding still. He's giant and black. Where? 
to the left of the moving monkey, closer to us. He's holding very still, but I saw him go on that branch. Yeah, so he's on this branch. He's a big black howler monkey. I don't know if you can see him because of the... I'm hoping he'll move so we can see him move. You can see his legs hanging on either side of the Most branches. Of you can see him moving a little bit there. He's right there. And his tail's wrapped around behind him and his arms are wrapped around a branch above him. There's a little monkey behind him. I think he's a capuchin though. Or a capuchin, however you say it. There, now he's moving. He just adjusted a little bit. Oh, there he goes. You can see him moving. See him there going across that branch? Now he's laid out on that branch there. That was cool. Cool end to the hike. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, close to the so that was really cool. The rainforest, Panama Rainforest Discovery Center. We rushed through because we're kind of with someone taking us to various sites and we added this, not really knowing what it would be exactly, but we saw all the trails and everything, but to see the birds, you really need to be able to pause and get out binoculars and all that stuff. But we saw a whole bunch of monkeys. So hopefully enjoyed that part of the trip. We're back at the start.